This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys, so I'm just doing a real quick video to show you how all of my Zig armor is attached or put together. Probably should have shown you this when I was actually getting ready, but it didn't occur to me until now and I really don't feel like getting redressed in the Zig's armor, so I'm just going to talk about it. All of the Zig's bombs are giant beach balls wrapped in fabric. I put the beach balls in deflated to start with, and then once they are in this giant covering, which is usually a lot, you know, everything's all smushed and flat, I go ahead and I blow it up, everything expands, and it becomes a bomb. But this big one has a piece of Velcro that attaches here to keep everything in place, whereas the little ones are completely loose because these two spots are glued on and the two back ones aren't. Um, and it doesn't really raise unless I hold it like this, but I'm holding it from the back. So you can see how it's kind of raised when I hold it from the top, but when it's from the front, you can't really tell. So this is the chest plate. It attaches in the back like this. By itself, it stays up pretty well, but I still wanted to add straps just to make sure that it would stay up and also give a spot for the shoulder pieces to attach to. If there's noise, it's somebody doing yard work. But to attach the bomb, or just like all of the parts on my torso, I first start off by putting this on first and velcroing it in the back. Then I, I can do this by myself. It's easier if somebody helps me. So either I'll do it or I'll have someone help me do it. And they'll just go ahead and string these pieces through the bomb, uh, these little loops that I sewed on to the back of the bomb. There's four loops, there's two for each one. Once this is on, I go ahead and I attach both of these to these little Velcro strips that I have on the front of the armor right here. And then I'll go ahead and attach the shoulder pieces which have Velcro right here along the curve, and this sits on the curve of my shoulder as well. So it gets attached here. This one gets attached here. And that is how the chest plate attaches. So everything stays in place fairly well. These are the knee pieces that go like right here, here. To put on all the leg pieces, I put these pieces on first because I can't scoot them up over the shoes once the shoes are on. I usually start off putting my leg pieces on first. The order that I go in is leg pieces, then chest plate and chest armor then my head pieces and then gloves last. So once I have these on, I let them just kind of sit about here on my leg while I get the rest of the shoe on before I put them into their exact spot. So to get the shoe on, I have a boot cover made and I put the shoe in first. Otherwise I can't, there's, there's just, there's no getting it on. The shoe has an open back, so it makes it easy to put it on. I just leave this unattached and then I put it on. It's a little tricky once it gets to the ankle part, but it, it works. Once I get my foot in though, I go ahead and velcro around. Velcro the shoe shut. Anyways, to keep the heel piece down, I add a little piece of elastic that I just slip over the shoe and my, my shoe is in. So this part up until this point is usually in place once I have the shoe on. To finish it off, I slide this up and under these pieces and then pull this up and it sits about here on my thigh and then i'll pull these up into place because this sits right here and that sits about here and that's up there to get the headpiece on i start off with having this wig on without the pigtails in place scoot this up and over my head just like so and put that in place then i'll clip the pigtails in place really far back about right here and then I will take the ears and I will put those on in place fairly far forward. The ears have little pieces of fabric here where I can just bobby pin. I start off having a bobby pin already in place but like pushed out like this far so that when I set it here all I have to do is find this bobby pin that's sticking out and push it in and then same with the bottom one and push that in. 
And then the ears are on. And they're fairly secure with just one, but if I feel like they're kind of loose, I'll stick another one through and on top of the first one I put in. And the next is the gloves, and the gloves just go on like normal gloves. It's fairly easy. I love this part open so that it can stretch and I can get my arm through easily. And that is how I put on the Zix armor, how everything attaches and stays in place. Bye! I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.